Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're looking to find the first and second derivatives of this function. So we're going to the first derivative. We want to get this into a form where we can find the derivative easily using the power rules that we've learned so far. So right, rewriting g of r. Remember, for any root, let's say we have the x root of r, where x is just some number, this is going to be equal to r to the 1 over x. So doing that here, we have the square root, so just imagine a 2 there. This is going to be r to the 1 over 2 plus r to the 1 over 3. Now these are two power functions, and we can find the derivative. So g prime of r is equal to the coefficient of this term is just 1 times the exponent is 1 half. Put our variable in there, and our new exponent is going to be the old one minus 1. Same thing with the next term. Coefficient is still 1 times our exponent, 1 third, and the old exponent, 1 third minus 1. Simplify this and you get your first derivative. g prime of r is 1 times 1 half is 1 half. r to the 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half, plus 1 times 1 third is 1 third. r to the 1 third minus 1, this is negative 2 thirds, and this is going to be your first derivative. Now, to find the second derivative, you take the derivative of the derivative. So doing that right here, again, we have two power functions, so it's going to be doing the same method. Pull out your coefficient, write it out front, multiply it by the exponent, and then your new exponent is the old one minus 1. Hopefully you're getting used to the pattern. Plus 1 third, bring out your coefficient, multiply it by the, by the exponent, your new exponent, your old one minus one. Now, our simplified second derivative is one half times negative one half, which is negative one fourth, r to the negative one half minus one, which is negative three halves, plus one third times negative two thirds is negative minus two ninths, multiplying those two right there, times r to the negative two thirds minus one is negative five thirds. If you need to, finding the common derivative or the common denominator and doing these uh, fractions out by hand is completely fine. But either way, you're going to get this as your first derivative and this is your second derivative. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.